Okay, now that all this is verified, I ended up dropping the diff back out, and now it's time to reinforce. Basically, I'm going to triangulate these braces up to the frame on each side and on the inside of the frame as well uh, on both sides. So what I'm going to do first is just make some cardboard templates so I can cut it out of my steel here and see where we go. Alright, so I still have to trim down the bottom of the back plates just so it looks level to the eye. Uh, but I went ahead and made some cardboard templates. These just stick up in here just so I can make some nice triangles. They are 8 inches along the bottom leg. Didn't really have a measurement to use. 8 just looked fine the way it flows on the frame in the front. And then in the rear, because it's going to be smaller, it's going to be a little more of an awkward shape. But it flows nice with the shape of the frame. So I think it'll look okay. And for this side at least, I haven't, I haven't done the driver's side yet. Uh, I just laid them out on a piece of sheet metal. The same metal I cut those mounts out of. And then I have outside right front, inside right front. Obviously this guy inside and outside of the frame. And then same with the right rear. So I'm gonna chop those out and get them tacked in place. Alrighty, I got my plates tacked up in here on this side. It's triangulated on both sides, inside and out. So I don't think I'll have to fish plate anything, like weld anything over top that is joining. Um, what I might do in the future yet is add a plate on the outside here. Once everything's in place, we'll see if I need to do that. I don't know. I need to show you something. So yesterday I tried welding this side of those triangles into the frame. I had some huge problems. I hate the fact that I'm about to show you these welds, but I need to own up to my mistakes. That is absolutely disgusting. I was fighting with the welder welding balls to the tip of the welder, spattering everywhere. The arc would just go all over the place. I couldn't figure out what was going on. The only thing different I did is I bought this TIG welder and to run TIG, you need 100% argon. So I ran the MIG welder off the 100% argon bottle, not thinking any different, like it would be fine, which I mean, it, it did weld, but you can see it's absolutely disgusting. I just did a quick test and I can do it again on camera to show you Here's the 100% bottle weld. Here's the 25% bottle weld. And I am appalled. That is incredible. These were the same settings. I shit you not, I will do it again just so I can show you. So we'll start with the 25% mix because it's already hooked up. Overall, not bad. My speed was kind of inconsistent, but it looks like a weld. I'm gonna switch this over, close the bottle. The hose is going into the 100% bottle. Purge the line, just to be sure. Now here's 100%. Wow, that is incredible. I am blown away how much of a difference a gas makes. So the one I just welded, that was 100% argon. Look how narrow and built up and hot gluey that weld bead looks. And here's the one that I did on 25% mix. Same settings. That's incredible. This might seem obvious to people who know how to weld. I won't claim I know how to weld because I'm a hobbyist. I just do it for fun. So now I need to grind all this disgusting garbage off. It's just on the outside, not on the insides or the other outside welds on either part. To make my life a little easier, I'm gonna get the box off so I can weld everything with a lot of access and then I can put the box back on after I finish the front cross member for official fitment. Hey, right, let's get a box off. Let's clean up some of them welds so we can make it look pretty. There we go, got all that ugly garbage cleaned off. Now we can go about re-welding the outside here. Uh, everything on the inside, 
inside here and then the inside mounts on the frame rail and then repeat for the other side so it'll be totally welded in. You can see just how little penetration that garbage actually got with the right light. You can just see the seam of the metal I have going up on that flat plate here. I really almost screwed up a whole lot, but I'm gonna fix it now. I'm pretty much doing this on the max settings of this welder. I just bought a brand new roll of welding wire, so I think we'll be good. Yeah, my GoPro must have died halfway through one of my welds because I didn't hear it and I came up after I finished pretty much everything. I'm like, oh no, my camera's not recording. So I got everything on this side welded. Everything on this side welded. It's really disgusting because of the way I had it overlapped. Same with this side is all done. And the outside of this frame rail is all done. And then I just started Welding up on the insides of the pieces here. Uh, I got the one on the top, the two sides, and then this one before I had to get up and grab a snack. I just have inside here, all the ones inside on this guy, and then everything on the inside of those guys. And then the whole frame will be completely welded mount-wise, and I can start moving on to the cross member. Not bad for a mechanic. Oh, wow. All right, one, well, two more sets of weld, I guess. Ooh, let's see if we can power through it, because my neck is starting to hurt. Oh, good enough for me. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> 